Welcome to another video from Green Read Technology. In this video, we're going to cover adding a virtual disk to a virtual machine. Generally, you're going to add a virtual disk to a virtual machine to add additional storage, or in the physical sense, you're adding a second or third hard drive. We're going to begin this by selecting the particular virtual machine that we would like to add the VDI to. In this case, we're utilizing a Windows XP machine to demonstrate the entire process of adding the virtual disk as well as uh, provisioning the storage within the operating system. So you select the virtual machine and go to storage. And you choose add. As we can see, we already have a virtual disk attached. And in this case, the general naming structure is going to be the virtual machine name and an increment of whatever the number is at. The number is going to start at zero and you just increment from there. Or you can choose whatever name that you would like to associate uh, with this particular virtual disk. We'll choose our size. We'll go with 30 gigs. We'll choose add. And at this point, the virtual disk is attached to the virtual machine. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to the console. And we'll go ahead and provision that particular virtual disk uh, within the operating system itself. So we'll go to my computer just to see. At this point, I just have a C drive for my hard disk. And I'll just go to manage. and disk management and here I can see it's asking me to initialize and convert the disk so it's recognized the second virtual disk go ahead and choose next and just proceed through this and I'll click finish alright disk is showing us online and I'll just create a simple partition. All right, so it's healthy. And so at this point, I've just added the E drive. Uh, to this particular virtual machine which corresponds to the virtual disk that we just added. So this that's how you add a virtual disk to a virtual machine. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it.